Welcome everyone to another episode of our show with myself and Breakout Plays. And sorry about last week, we had a technical issue, but we're going on with the show and we hopefully won't have issues today. Uh, so thank you for bearing with us and supporting us. Thank you for all the followers, the shout outs. We really appreciate all the comments. And our, our mission is to pick some plays that will have a move to the upside or downside. So let's just first talk about what to expect this week. This is courtesy of Seeking Alpha, a phenomenal new subscription as well. Tells you what's going on for the week. Uh, you can see here we have some uh, stocks to watch here. Um, we have NVIDIA this week has an all day event at the GTC event. It's a four day event. They're going to cover the advancements in generative AI, the metaverse. Got Jensen Wong's going to give a keynote speech. And uh, we know that the shares have rallied in the past uh, over the last four out of five years. I wonder if this will rally once again. So one to watch this week. We have NNDM also uh, has a meeting scheduled to replace four directors. Wow. And then we have uh, the Game Developers Conference as well, which is all day. Then on Tuesday, we got uh, some lemon and Starbucks. And then we also have... Um, all day event here on Wednesday with the uh, Farm C. We got Jerome Powell talking at 2 30, press conference, 2 30, 2 o'clock. Federal Reserve will give us their statement on interest rates. And then we have obviously some more events later this week. Uh, really nothing special, just Altria and Chevron having a virtual fireside chat. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, Mr. Virtual, Mr. Uh, virtual breakout plays we are virtual here and uh we'll see what he's got on his plate for this week love to hear what he has what he's got on his watch list and i uh, look forward to seeing what he what his thoughts are so breakouts over to you thank you vegas so my pick for this week is going to be a b and b so just to go over this quickly keep it uh nice and short this is a b and b weekly uh we bounced last week off the anchored vwap we had the pointer control on the weekly and we put in a hammer right on that uptrend line. So we need to hold this uptrend line. Otherwise, we've got a risk of a double top on the weekly. That's the bigger picture. So just keep it short and sweet. What I'll be looking for on A, B, and B coming into this week is if we break 122. So remember, guys, this is a crucial area. we got to get over. This is also a reject area. If we do reject that 122, we could start coming down and then form that uh, double top on the weekly that I just showed you. My play this week will be entering calls at 122, targets of 125.80 and then 130.80. But let me just show you this weekly quickly, guys. Also be aware, if we don't hold this uptrend line on the weekly, we will have a danger of doing what we did back here off this double top before we got some downside. So that's my pick for the week, Vegas. I'll be looking at Airbnb over 122, for calls with targets of 125.80 and 130.80. Okay, well, that sounds really good. I'll be watching Airbnb. I haven't traded that in a while, so looking forward to uh, trading it. And also, I noticed with uh, Airbnb, I wonder if they have all these people coming back to book their uh, stays because they've had, you know, lots of with COVID, they were, you know, impacted. So hopefully, uh, the stock makes comeback, but yeah, that looks really interesting. And look at that volume coming through. So very yeah. interesting or to seeing what happens here and let's keep a watch on that Airbnb level. And where would you be your bearish on it? If it went below what? Well, uh, on Friday's low, if we break Friday's low, but mm -hmm. I know I do think we are going to test our 122 regardless before we start rejecting. I mean, the only other option I see technically is if we break Friday's low for more downside going to this week. But funny you should say about the, um, you know, the, the company and the listings and everything. They added 900,000 new listings in 2022, which brought their listings to 6.6 .6 million. They got strong revenue yeah. growth and profitability. So, you know, as a company, I like them long term anyway. Uh, they generated 3.4 billion in free cash flow in 2022, which is nearly 50% more than 2021. So I do think the stock is there will break out. Awfully this chart will be our breakout to the upside. As long as you hold that weekly uptrend, I, I can see us breaking out at some point to the upside. But again, if it rejects our 122, you know, I, I won't be in it for calls. And if it breaks Friday low, 
you know, I might even take a, a put play on it going into this week. Okay, well, that sounds great. I'll be definitely watching Airbnb. I'm going to definitely keep a watch because that looks pretty good. And I like what you said about their free cash flow. Uh, definitely something you people that like long investments, something to watch long term. People like investing. Uh, obviously, check it out. Do your own due diligence. Speak to a licensed advisor, obviously. But I love the free cash flow. You always want to be invested in companies that have good cash flow. So that sounds like a really juicy one. And uh, very impressed, actually. I didn't realize their free cash flow is that big. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, they're doing well. And 2022 was the um, first profitable year they had of positive, wow. net, in positive net income. So, you know, the, the company's going in the right direction either way for investment. But obviously, we look at the day trade these and uh, look at these charts. I, I like it this week for hopefully the breakout we're looking for with this company. Absolutely. Okay. So thank you so much for that one. So Airbnb is breakout place pick. And now we're going to turn it over to my pick this week going to be nvidia and you know what nvidia is really impressive they have obviously it was a beautiful run this week on nvidia let me i'll have to pull up this chart here and show you guys but this was a gorgeous move this week i know there's probably going to be some bears on nvidia now because they're thinking well you know nvidia had uh let me just pull it up here uh quite the run and so maybe they're thinking you know it's had you know we had a pullback obviously but they're probably thinking this is going to be a short on NVIDIA. So won't be surprised that there could be bears on this. But you know what? I'm going to be the, um, what do they say, devil's advocate or the contrarian. And actually anticipate that uh, there will be some excitement on their artificial intelligence sector. Uh, that obviously the CEO and co-founder of NVIDIA is going to share some exciting news. And hopefully we'll see some action in NVIDIA. And you know what? Microsoft's involved in AI as well. So that's also one to watch. But I wonder if he's going to say anything or talk about new products um, that NVIDIA is on that's going to actually push the stock. So you just never know. Um, although it's had a nice move prior to the event, uh, I am liking actually the weekly chart still to me looks really strong. You know, some people might say it's a little overbought, but, um, you know, don't put too much weight on the fact that it could be slightly overbought. Uh, the event alone is a game changer. I mean, with who knows what he's going to say. And let's see what he has to say. Can I play the volume here? Oh, he says, don't miss the excited moment. You guys could see this screen here. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me show you. Share the tab. Beginning drive I'll show pilot. this one here. Oh. Let me see. There you go. You could see here they're showing like a little video here. Ask of all the stuff How that they have going on with their AI, look at this special effects, just amazing. I love it. So keep a watch on Nvidia. It's the event is tomorrow, eight o'clock PDT. Not pattern day trade rule, but, uh, but PDT. I want to show you something <laughs> you like amazing. that one. Um, so yeah, so that's the event tomorrow. So let's definitely keep a watch on Nvidia. It is a stock to watch. And uh, I think if it can get over, you know, 260, watch out. I mean, it's it doesn't matter where it closed right here, but if it gets over 260, watch out. That's going to be the resistance I'm watching for. Some traders might be watching the resistance over 261.04, uh, but definitely going to be watching Nvidia if it breaks 260. You know what? If it went below like 250, then I would, re you know, consider maybe a potential short for me. But you know, it's such a powerful stock, such a powerful weekly chart that um you know really looking to see what this will do uh tomorrow so keep nvidia on watch that's gonna be my play of the week and uh look forward to seeing what we have going on for the market so a lot of talk still out there by the way on the banking stuff you're still hearing all this banking stuff talk bank talk so there could be obviously some volatility and we have obviously fed chair speaker powell talking so it makes a good mix for an exciting week uh very important to be cautious with position sizing as well we talk about that, you know, Greg, get aggressive when the market signals it's time to go right now. Still a lot of uncertainty in the market with this banking stuff. So, you know, people are sometimes a little bit hesitant to take trades. Um, so just caution on size, you know, just trade what you see in front of you. The bottom line is price action determines what you should do. You know, if price is going up, then you obviously go into uh, calls or um, if price is tanking, you obviously would consider probably looking at puts. So just look at what's in front of you because, you know, every day is a new day and there's been some great trading opportunities last week, some phenomenal, phenomenal trades last week. 
AMD was a, a smash. Nvidia was a smash. Meta was incredible. So these are stocks to not take your eyes off because these are stocks that had had good moves. So definitely will be watching this week once again. Nvidia is going to be my pick. And uh, breakout plays, his pick is going to be, as you know, Airbnb. And he obviously showed, oh, here's an NVIDIA chart. By the way, uh, Breakout, what's your thoughts on NVIDIA? Because I know last week we were on opposite sides of the fence. You were bearish. I was bullish. And so what are your thoughts this week on NVIDIA? Because it's already had a nice move. Yeah, it was uh, crazy. You know, um, yeah, as I said last week, I was looking at this 2 to 250 to break to play down to 211. Uh, you, you said the opposite. You wanted to play it to the upside. Uh, we had a little discussion about it. Uh, you was right. I was wrong. The... The important thing to remember, you guys, which is another crucial thing to remember, is these key areas on the chart is where the stock can do something. Either buyers are going to uh, be more dominant or the sellers are going to be more dominant. So in NVIDIA's case, where I like to for a breakdown, the buyers stepped in and pushed it right back up. And, you know, v Vegas called this beautifully last week and they went on a, a massive run. So what am I looking for this week on NVIDIA? Yeah, I, I mean, I got I got the side targets this week if it keeps running of 270 and 275. If it breaks 255, I'd be looking for a 11 point drop down. Um, but again, long term, as we said, they'd expect in potential growth in the AI market. Uh, AMD and NVIDIA are top two GPU market for AI servers, with NVIDIA controls about 80% for those servers. So, you know, they've got a big, big share of the market. Um, the, the only short term problems I see with them is there's a weakened demand for chips in the gaming and data center markets. But, you know, if we do get downside, I can't see that being the catalyst that so we would have added already. And that was one of the reasons why I liked it to the downside last week. But in short, I like it if it owes 255 and um, near side targets 270, 275. If we do get downside, you know, I, I can't see it dropping much below 244. But again, that's not me predicting. That's just what price actions tell us at the moment. And uh, it'd be good to see this week if the buyers are still dominant. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, we don't have a crystal ball. I mean, some people think we do because we've been really accurate with a lot of our plays. So thank you to those of us uh, saying that we have a crystal ball, but we actually don't. <laughs> we wish we did, uh, oh, yeah. but we definitely do like a price action and uh, basically what's what the what the market's trying to tell you. If there's buyers, there's buyers. They're buying. The action will move up. So let's see what these do. We have a catalyst on Nvidia in particular. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to see what both of these stocks do, and we'll review them with you guys next week. Have a great trading week. Have a good night, everyone. Take care. See you tomorrow.